Welcome back, welcome back, nail students. Welcome back to your nail class. <laughs> so if you haven't caught part one and part two, make sure you go check that out. You'll be able to learn how different nail equipments that you can use, how to hold it, how to practice on your wrist, stick out your pinky. And we also went over the number of the nails so have you been studying doing your homework working on your wrist keeping that pinky out and remembering that these pinkies are normally a size seven eight nine ten these these three are normally of five four three okay and thumbs are normally zero one two okay so last week we went over with angelica Angelica is our friend. Her name is Angelica. We was gonna name her, name her Angelica, and um, we call her Angelica Thing, like Thing from what you would call it. And fuck you, fuck you. Um, so we also went over last week how we cut them. Okay, so these are like. You can pop these on and off, okay? I was having a hard time last time getting them to stay, uh, getting the, the fake nails to stick. So, last week, we went over how to glue on the nail tips, okay? Apply the acrylic, how we use our brush, building a relationship with the brush. So, I hope that you've been building a relationship with your brush and using your eye and using, measuring out how much you need with your eye. And then using the brush where the body, the middle part is to maneuver, the tip is to cut excess off. All right. So we also went over last time how to trim the shape before um, <clears throat> before applying your acrylic. I just seen somebody said, uh, why don't you use tips that already have it? You can. I prefer not to. Um, they do have tips that's already pre-shaped for you, but then you still have to cut them short to the length and you still have to reshape them again anyways. All right. <clears throat> one, rule number one. Not rule number one. So many fucking rules. Uh, <laughs> before laying on the acrylic and when you're cutting the shape, don't focus so much on filing the shape because once you put the acrylic on, you have to reshape again. So there's no point of you spending so much time getting that shape perfect on the plastic nails before putting the acrylic on because literally when you put the acrylic on you're going to have to reshape again so please don't focus on that all right today we are going to work on shaping all right so if you haven't watched the other videos please go back and watch that so i don't really have to repeat a lot of things all right but we have already cut the shape and we have already filed um and then put acrylic on so after we apply the acrylic Okay, we're going to shape today. All right, let's get started. Okay, so when we go to fouling, okay, first you take the foul, you know, if you have it on the side. Hold the client with your left hand and or your right, whatever hand you are using, so you can secure it. And hold long strokes. Don't do these little ones. These little ones don't work, Okay long stroke and the foul does not go out okay this causes a round shape on the side of the nails okay this doesn't make the shape sharp you have to turn your wrists and make sure the foul is straight in like this it's going in and not like this okay So, nail file, all right, and make sure, sometimes I can be heavy handed on my right side, on this side, and I'll neglect the other side. So make sure that you're filing both sides evenly, all right. So holding the nail file in is for the sharpness of the shape. And I do go under here at least a, just a little bit, okay? Just to clean up the underneath part, okay? 
So that goes to stiletto. So for coffin, same thing. Make sure you're balancing out both sides so that the shape don't end up heavier on one side. And that's where your eye come along. You should be able to see that you're fouling one side more than the other side. Okay. Hold the nail fowler in. Okay. So this is no, no. This is no, no. <laughs> Stupid ass finger. All right. This is no, no. Because that's going to cause it to be rounded on the side. I'm going to hold it in. And then here. So when you file like this, you see how the nail file is like facing this way like this? Okay. It makes a it makes a flat surface appear, but it's not as sharp as when you hold it inward. It's like running into a wall. Okay. When it comes to that sharp shaping, you want everything to look like it's running into a wall straight like this not like this not like this but like this this bitch losing fingers and shit and then once in a while we're gonna turn it this way to get underneath any riggedy Some people turn their clients this way to see. Um, I don't tend to do that. All right. Now, say for instance, you got a lot of acrylic everywhere, right? And it's thicker. It's going to take a long time to use this. All you can do, you can turn this up high, your sand bit, and you can use it to sand down the nail to get it to where you want it okay this saves you a lot of time from using the nail files you see how my pinky is out so pointy coffin this one is taper square And when you're holding the client's finger, make sure you're holding the top of the nail or the side. Holding the nail bed somehow so that way when you're going back and forth on the tip of the nail file, it's holding their nails so that it's not bending back and forth and hurting them. I've been told I'm heavy-handed. See, I'm holding. You see how this is it's turning inward? Okay. That's how you get that, that straight line. Ta-da! Then the lipstick. Same thing. Straight in. The only time we go and do this is to make sure that there's no rigs on the bottom. All right. That's where your eye plays a big factor. Does it look good or not? Nah? All right, so now that we got our shape of the way, now remember in the other video when I talk about the drill head, 
If you're doing short nails, you can bring it all the way down. But these are long nails, we're gonna bring it up. We're gonna pull it up. Pinky out. The tip of the nail drill goes around. This is where all the wrist practice come in. Okay. And then the flat part is what you're using to go around the surface. Pinky out. The less sloppier work you do, the less drilling you have to do. I normally don't have to drill my clients a lot because my application be smooth. It's not a lot of like lumps or it's not a lot of acrylic everywhere. So it cuts down my time when I don't have to drill. All right, to go underneath, hold the pinky and push it up to the right. This is just clean it up, okay? So, the tip go around the cuticle. You can use this to clean up the side. Tip go around the top. Flatten. Now remember, I told you, it looks like I'm going back and forth, but I'm not going back and forth. I'm going one way, and then when my finger is going back the other way, I'm actually slightly lifting it. So I'm just going one way. Around the cuticle, and then flat. So once you get a nice application, you don't have to do a lot of drilling, okay? And then we're gonna buff it. Buff underneath. This is just to smooth everything out. There's gotta be something I can use to glue this that can pop it on and off without messing up the hand. Cause that's annoying. All right, so remember, hold it inward, pull down. Long strokes, not short strokes. Not like this, not short little ones like this, but long ones in. In, evenly divide both sides, okay? And voila, that is shaping. So wham, bam, voila, that is shaping, that is drilling. Use your eyes so you can see, keep practicing. I don't wanna focus on so many at once. So once we get deeper into the game, I am gonna show y'all more stuff, different designs that I do, different techniques that I do. We're gonna get into encapsulation. We're gonna get into ombre. We're gonna get into mixing up some color acrylic and having some fun. But all of that stuff is just fun. I want you to get the foundation right. So I do want you to go back, rewatch the videos from the first video, the second video, and today video of how to glue on, how to prep. Okay, getting con that consistency. I want you to get to a point where your color acrylic is just so smooth that you don't have to do a lot of fouling, a lot of drilling. But yeah, that eye is really important. Okay, getting that shape. If you need to flip it around like this, some people need to flip it around like this and do it. Do what works for you. There's no a right, wrong way into doing nails like everybody have a different technique everybody have a different way of shaping and filing do what works for you try different ways um as long as your eyes are working and it looks good you're freaking good to go there's no right or wrong way i still learn new things every single day of how to do certain things okay now apex you know people oh my god the nail is so thin let me tell you guys something the nail does not need to be a 
big ass camel hump to have an apex okay it does not need to look like brokeback mountain to have an apex like flat nails like you know how my nails is like it may look thin but right here in the middle is very thick okay it's gonna hold it's not gonna break if you have a good foundation it's not gonna break okay you do not need a hunchback or a hump to have an apex to for people to think because a lot of people complain that my nails are too thin and i'm like bro my clients come back in six weeks and they don't have no broken nail if my nail clients nails ever have anything wrong their whole nail like the whole acrylic part comes off like press-ons but that's after like four to six weeks um they do not break across and break and hurt and stuff like that so you do not need thick ass nails to have an apex literally just wear it here okay looks good looks nice you know look at my nails so they did a good job and they're not gonna break they haven't broken <laughs> um <clears throat> Yeah, but make sure you guys work on that foundation, okay? Make sure you work on that shaping. Go back and be like, okay, does that look good, okay? Go back to the nail, like, does does that look sharp? Does that look straight on the side? Does it look even, okay? Does that look pointy, okay? Tap it. <clears throat> All right, you guys, so that's today's class on shaping. Just keep practicing, keep practicing your clump. The nicer your foundation and your laying down is, the less fouling you're gonna have to do, okay? The less drilling that you're gonna have to do onto your clients. Cause you don't really wanna keep going over their cuticle with them, with this. You wanna keep going around it and around it. Like practice to where you get that smooth applicant so that you wouldn't have to keep fouling around the cuticle and chewing it up. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Make sure you're working on that wrist. That pinky's out. Make sure you're writing down the steps, okay? Prep. <clears throat> Sandpaper. Boom, 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 boom. Glue the nails. Boom, 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 boom. Cut down the nails. Boom, 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 boom. Sandpaper the top. <laughs> Primer. Okay? Liquid. Foundation. I mean, liquid. Acrylic. Pew, 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 pew. Pat, 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 pat with the body. Cut with the tip. Cut around the tip. Pat, 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 pull. Boom. Let it flow. Boom. Then we're going to shape. Use your eye. Use your eye. Boom. Buffer. Touch up the shape. Okay, go wash your hand. Pick a little. Wiggle a little. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Mwah.